Hi guys and kaboom! Yes, welcome to my base review series. This is where we find some of the best bases out there. We test them out in the Legend League, review them, and then give them a score out of 10. And today we're going to be reviewing this magnificent Town Hall 13 Legend League and War Base. Yes, it looks a bit different, but is it any good? So in just a moment, we're going to check out some Legend League replays so you can see the base in action. See how it performs. If you are impressed and you do want to download and try this base yourself, it's easy. Just head on over to the video description. Say Samu sent you. Click on the base layout link and kaboom, the base will appear on your device just like that. And guys, do remember on this channel is something called channel memberships. It's where you can help support the channel. In return, you get behind the scenes access to all things regarding the channel. An awesome badge next to your name and some exclusive base designs that I will give you. Check out the information in the video description. Anyway, yes, into our first replay. So here we go, guys. The base, like I said before, it looks pretty nice, doesn't it? It's a bit different. How is it going to hold up? against an air attack. So what do we got? Let's have a look at the attacker. We've got a, a new Inferno Dragon, some Electro Dragons, Balloons, and some Heroes. Okay, so there's the uh, Inferno Dragon. What do you think of these new Super Troops, guys? That's Tim the Tesla has been activated. How are you doing, Tim? Take out the enemy. Oh dear, no. Um, I think, to, yeah, we lost him. No, the Inferno Dragon, yeah, it looks like a, a giant bee, doesn't it? A bumblebee. Anyway, guys, sorry. The main attack has started now. Some balloons in. Electro Dragon's behind. They're going to try and move towards the base. Will they go towards the Town Hall, though? You know what it's like with these Electro Dragons. They will not be funneled. Uh, free spell down on my Eagle Artillery. A couple of E-Dragons have gone left. A couple have gone right. And it looks like they're bypassing the Town Hall, which is good for us, guys. My Royal Champion's gone out to try and intercept the intruders. And uh, the Queen, is she also... I'm not sure if the enemy Queen is on the battlefield or not, guys. Um, Wall Wrecker is just starting to roll in now at the bottom of the screen, nice and slowly. And yes, the King and Queen have not been deployed yet, I don't think. I can't see, guys. I'm too. I'm zooming in too much. There we go, somebody's following the Wrecker. There is Royal Champion running after the Wall Wrecker. There's the King as well. And they're, yep, they're going for the Town Hall. Can they take it down? There's the Queen, last of all. Out come my Clan Castle Troops, Gary, Gordon and Greg, the Ice Golems. They will take no prisoners. They're trying to stop those enemy heroes getting near the Town Hall. They've been poisoned, but it's okay. Some hero abilities are being pressed. The Town Hall, Giga Inferno is there. The Expos, guys, everything is going on. It's too confusing. No, it's okay. It's okay, guys. The Ice Golems have done well. And now it's just the Queen. Can she take out the Town Hall from there? I don't think so. She's going for a better angle, but no. Not today. Whew, that was close, guys. On to the next replay. What do we got? Uh, Super Wall Breakers, Yetis, Bowlers, a couple of Ice Golems. Yeah. And guys, by the way, on this channel, um, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, we've got loads of base reviews. Some of the best bases, guys. This is the channel to be. And also, also... Town Hall 13 and Town Hall 12 attack strategies. If you're looking for some nice attack strategies, you know, nice and fun and easy to use, I've got you covered, guys. Yeah. So anyway, Grand Warden Walk. It seems like years since I've seen a Grand Warden Walk, guys, to be honest. So there we go. Just uh, nice and relaxing. Let the Grand Warden do his thing there. So let's have a look at the base design down here. We've got quite a few structures. The King's there waiting. He's just patiently there with the Grand Warden behind him. My Grand Warren. So this is looking okay so far. Um, four Earthquake spells have opened up the base. One Jump spell left. And there we go. Siege Barracks on the right. Is that the other side of the funnel? I think so. So this base, especially from this side, is difficult to funnel, isn't it? Just the shape of the base and all the structures there. Ice Golem going over on the right-hand side. So the Yetis are in, but they're going to be pulled across to the left, of course, because there's still structures there. And my King doesn't help. He's gone out... And he's saying, hey, this is private property. Please move away from the town hall. But no, the enemy troops are moving forward now. But of course, troops, guys, they follow the closest path. So they're going to go left, they're going to go right. They're not going to go to that town hall at the moment because the funnel has not been completed. It's a difficult funnel. Look at all those bowlers down there. They are going around the outside of the base, guys. They are not interested in going to that town or they say, look, even put a little jump spell there to try and tempt them. No, we don't want to. Ian, the Inferno Tower is busy there. He is being bouldered. And I do believe we're going to lose Ian. Yes, destroyed by his own giant bomb there. Um, so those bowlers, they're not going to do much there on the left. Ice Golem's out. Some healers are trying to take out the town hall, but of course they can't. 
And the Grand Warden and some Yeti mites are bouncing aggressively towards the town. Oh no. And the ice golems? They don't know what to do, guys. My ice golems are just jumping over the walls. They've in the rage spell. And now, unfortunately, a couple of them are inside that poison spell there. 68% one star, and there's no chance of anybody getting to that town hall to take it down now. And the ice golems, well done, guys. Great defence. Well done. So uh, we've got one more replay, guys, and here it is. What do you think? Will this be the best defence? I mean, attack against the base. I normally save the best attack against the base till last, just so we can learn, see how to perhaps take out the base. And here we go, four earthquake spells on the top right corner. So that looks good. And it's all about the funnel now. So there's an Inferno Dragon, bottom right corner. See it there? Just uh, Inferno-ing away. So yeah, this is... Uh, let's just zoom in there. Yeah, nice looking animal. The Inferno... Is it an animal? Yes, it's an animal. And one on the left. So these are being used effectively for funneling here. Yeti there. So it's all about being patient. So that Inferno... Oh, having a lovely time there, that Inferno Dragon. Well done. And there we go, guys. Sorry, I missed. So the rest of the troops have got siege barracks in the middle, yetis, bowlers, and heroes. And the funnel is pretty good. My ice golems have come out. They've been poisoned. They're trying to stop the onslaught here, but no. And look, there's a jump spell there on the Eagle Artillery preparing ahead. And uh, it's not looking good for the base, guys. Grand Warden ability used. Town Hall is being bouldered. It's gone. The Town Hall is gone. I repeat, we've lost the Town Hall. Troops... Piling through the base, guys. I want to turn the replay off right now. I can't watch this, but no, we shall keep watching, guys. We shall keep watching. I do believe this is going to be a, a three-star attack. And the Royal Champion over there on the right. There's a minion on the battlefield on the right-hand side there. That's not Mike, of course. I think that's uh, Mervin the minion. Yeah, yeah, it is. So the Royal Champion was taken out there. Has our attacker got enough troops to take out the base? What do you think, guys? So it's quite interesting to see how the base was overwhelmed by that attack at the top right-hand side. And it was all about the perfect funnel. funnel tastic, And then the troops just winning the base. Jump spell there. Boom. Nothing we could do, guys. Nothing we could do. Uh, but uh, still that minion there being a pest on the right-hand side. Marvin. And uh, this is not looking good. Um, I don't think Tim the Tesla can take out all of those troops there. Poor Tim. Oh, dear. And, uh, yeah, overwhelmed, guys. Overwhelmed. So we're going to head back now. Uh, we're going to review the base, and we're going to give it a score out of 10. So, guys, first of all, base design. I absolutely love the design of the base. It looks magnificent. It's sort of a cross between, I don't know, a triangle, a Christmas tree, but something beautiful anyway. But beauty doesn't win any defences in the Legend League, does it, guys? So how did this base do in the Legend League then? Well, I'll tell you. It had 21 attacks against it in the Legend League. Of those 21 attacks, guys, one was a zero star, five were one star, 14 were two star, and one was a vicious three-star attack, which we've just watched, of course, with that attacker attacking from the top right corner, taking out the base. Oh, I don't want to think about it. Anyway, yes, guys. So performance-wise, just one three-star attack out of 21. I'm pretty impressed with that, guys. Base design, I love it. Clan Castle, you're going to have three ice golems, Gary, Gordon, and Greg. So out of 10 today, guys, we're going to be giving this base 8 out of 10. A nice base. Remember, if you do download it, change some of the traps around. Keep people guessing, otherwise they may know where your nasty traps are waiting for them if they've downloaded the base as well. Uh, guys, let me know what you think in the video comments. I will try and reply to each and every one of you that does. Remember about channel memberships on the channel. Check out the information about how to join in the video description if that's something you'd like to do. If not, guys, you know, remember to join the Samus Army if you're not a member already. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as we absolutely stampede towards 50,000 subscribers. Yes, no, we'll, yeah, we are moving pretty quickly. So thank you so much for your support. It means the world. This is Samu signing out. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I will catch you later. Take care.